Today in Review This Thing, we're going to review this thing, the Tethered M2 Turkey Vest. This is Adrian with Review This Thing, and I have pretty much been testing out a new turkey vest every year for about the past five years. When I had the chance last year at the NWTF convention to put on this vest that was made by Tethered and the guys from the Hunting Public, I bought mine online the day it came out and used it all turkey season last year. So now I'm ready to tell you what I think. So let's review this thing. As always, we're gonna cover the facts. The first part is fit. Now I do have to tell you that I had pretty much written this vest off because I assumed that it would be too big like almost every other turkey vest I've tried on is. But when I was able to put it on at the convention and see how adjustable it was, I was really pleasantly surprised. There are really two components to the M2 turkey vest. The first is the yoke, which is one size fits all. And then you have your belt, which comes in small slash medium and a large, I'm 5'4", weigh about 135, have a 28 inch waist. This M2 vest fits me better than any other vest I've tried on. Other vests are just so big that when you take off running, they just flop everywhere. With the M2, I was able to tighten it down so it sits where I want it to, it sits against me. So if I'm running or crawling or climbing, I don't feel like it's getting in the way. And with the yoke, I was also surprised. I was able to tighten it down enough but then the neck piece didn't come up and ride up on my neck like some other packs can do. And you can see from the excess strap material that there is a lot of room to expand this. Also thinking about the fact that there's an even larger belt, you could fit this vest even if you're significantly bigger than me. Or I think there's still a little bit of room. You could even wear it if you're a little bit smaller than me. I won't belager this point. You can tell what the score is gonna be on fit. The tethered THP M2 vest gets a five out of five. Now is the M2 turkey vest as advertised. The first thing they advertise is that they're the only turkey vest made in the USA. I don't know if they're the only one, but I do know they are made in the USA and that always gets bonus points from us. And then the main thing Tethered advertises is that they are the most mobile and modular turkey vest you can buy. Let's go ahead and cover the mobile part first. The way that you can tighten this down and snug it up to you definitely creates an environment for mobility. With this vest, I never felt like I needed to take it off to be more comfortable unless I was trying to get something out of the pack. And it's also mobile because it is so compact and lightweight. Empty with the yoke, the belt, the two side pouches, and the hydro pack, it weighs a right at four pounds. So I can attest to the fact that even when it had stuff in it, it never felt really heavy carrying it around. Now what about modularity? A lot of the other vests that I've tried have specific places where things are meant to go. So if it has a place for a box call, but you don't have one, then you just have this random pocket that nothing goes in. Not with the M2. First, you can either get it with this hydro pack, which is the route that I went, or with the bird bag. I like having somewhere to put my layers whenever it gets warmer throughout the day and take them off. And it also leaves a great place for your snacks and your toilet paper. But the biggest part of the modularity is the Molly design. There's Molly webbing on the yoke harness as well as the belt and then on the sides of the bird bag, which means you can attach any of Tethered's Molly accessories. It also means you can attach basically any Molly accessory from anywhere. On this side, you can see that I did attach one of the horizontal pockets that comes with it. In there, I kept like my snips, my pot call, my strikers, and still had room for a snack or two. But on the other side, I wanted to attach a water bottle. After that, there wasn't room for the other horizontal pouch. So I just used this XO Mountain Gear pouch that I had gotten for my K4 pack and was able to keep smaller things like chapstick and things like that in there. And even more, the insides of the pouches are modular. You can design the inside of these pockets pretty much however you want. You can put your box call holder there. You have a striker holder, which also can hold your shell if you turn it at a different angle. And lastly, the M2 does come with a seat cushion, which is also modular because you can take that off if you're gonna be hunting in such a way that you don't need to sit on the ground. Overall, I would say the M2 turkey vest does exactly what Tethered claims it should. So because of that, we're gonna give, as advertised, a five out of five. Before we move on to the next section, if you like this video, give us that thumbs up. Share it with your friends and comment and let us know. And if you really like our videos and you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. And when you finish this video, head over to reviewthisthingtv.com and check out our website. You can also subscribe to our weekly newsletter there where we have all kinds of cool stuff you don't wanna miss. Now onto construction and durability. It comes standard with the yoke and then the pack or the bird bag, the belt, and then you have these two side pouches that's made from Tethered's proprietary two layer laminated Whisper Tough fabric. So it is very soft and quiet and you really don't hear a lot of swishing around whenever you're walking. 
and it's very tough. I used it all season last year. Wasn't easy on it, climbing, crawling, etc. And the fabric still looks basically brand new. Really my only complaint about this vest at all is the mouth call holder options. I don't particularly like this one. I feel like it's too tight. I don't like the other one because I don't want to have to mess with getting it out of the box every time. I really liked the way that the Run and Gun 200 had theirs. So maybe for your next design upgrade tethered, check those out. And I want to point out a little bit of extra storage space. So there's a pocket here on the outside of the pack, as well as these elastic straps. And then each of the side pouches also have little front pockets. And there really is a lot more storage space in this vest than you think. And I also cheated just a little bit. I like to use a trigger stick. So I just kind of slid it between the straps and was able to keep that there too. And the hydro pack is padded, so it's really comfortable sitting against your back. And it also has mesh on the pack as well as on the yoke straps, which helps with airflow and keeping you cool and from sweating too terribly much. And next, I mentioned the seat pad, but I want to talk about the construction of that as well. The bottom of it is made of a very tough, durable, and waterproof material. We are up and down a lot when we're hunting. So I sat on dry ground, wet ground, gravel, dirt, whatever. And again, just like the fabric, the bottom of it looks almost brand new. The pad is also adjustable. You can just unzip it and remove pieces. I found it's very comfortable just the way that it came, so I didn't change anything. And the way that it attaches to the vest, you can either flip it up if maybe you know you're gonna be walking for a really long time, or I left it down a lot and didn't really get in the way or bother me. So whenever we needed to sit down quickly, I could just sit down and it was already there. One drawback I think to the construction maybe is that I felt like the directions that came with it were a little lacking. So you're gonna wanna watch some YouTube videos when you go to putting this thing together. Overall, I've been very happy with the construction and the durability of the M2 vest. I am gonna take just a little bit off for the design of the mouth call holders and the instructions that come with it. But mainly just because I didn't feel like I could give it a five on everything. So we're gonna give construction and durability a 4.93 out of five. And now on to testimonials and reviews. As of right now, you can only buy the M2 Turkey Vest from the Hunt and Public website or the Tethered website. And the Tethered one doesn't have any reviews. But on the THP site, everything was a five out of five with no negatives. So the only real criticism I found was in a forum or Facebook group. And it was just basically about the price of the vest, which we will get into in a minute. But I'm gonna tell you the score that we found. So testimonials and reviews, it gets a five out of five. Last but not least, should you buy this thing? Well, we can skip a bunch of mumbo jumbo and I'll just say, yes. If you turkey hunt like we do, doing whatever it is you have to do to get to the turkey, then I think this vest is exactly what you're looking for. Now let's talk about the price. MSRP is $2.99. Keep in mind that it's made in the USA, which makes things cost a little bit more. A couple weeks ago, I saw it on sale on the Tethered website for $2.09 and on the THP website for $2.69. So make sure you're checking those out and you probably can get a good deal. And if you think about the money that I have probably already spent on multiple vests trying to get to this one, it's probably a lot more than that. For everything this vest does, as well as how well it fits not only me, but all of my turkey hunting needs, I feel like it's totally worth it. Should you buy this thing, five out of five. Hey, thanks for watching our review of the Tethered and THP M2 Turkey Vest. While you're here, give us that thumbs up, comment and let us know what you think. Share us with your friends, subscribe if you haven't. Take a minute and watch a bunch of our other videos. Go to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com and subscribe to our newsletter. Check out our holler store, our Amazon storefront and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and Pinterest.